Hello. Well, recently, uh, in the past week, there's been news about uh, Christopher Nolan's new film. Um, and there is no title, there is no synopsis or anything. Um, it's just been announced by Warner Brothers that July next year, Christopher Nolan will have a IMAX event film. Now, what does that mean? Now, uh, I guess we could assume it's going to be a you know a big scale film. Uh, um, however, I would say uh, and argue every film at this point Christopher Nolan makes is an event film. The hype and the buzz and how much people enjoy his films is like, you know, it's like unreal, you know, um, any aspiring filmmaker would just want to have some sort of, uh, like a fraction of the hype he gets, he's the it guy, he, when it's announced a new film by him is coming out, it's coming out. And uh, everyone gets excited. Um, you know, people have been talking and speculating. Um, some say a horror movie or a western or a, a remake of this film called Akira. Um, I actually have not seen Akira. Um, perhaps that's a you know, bad on my part, but um, I don't know. Here, uh, yeah, it's a Japanese animated uh, post apocalyptic cyberpunk film. Hmm. Based on a manga. So, yeah. Interesting, um, uh, and I guess for Akira, the reason is because you know he uh, uh, has been a director, along with George Miller, who's directed the Mad Max films. He's a director that's been floated about being involved in some way of a live-action adaptation. Oh, excuse me. Um, apparently, uh, DiCaprio also wants to produce the film. Um, so, uh, could this potentially be DiCaprio and uh, Nolan teaming up again? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yeah, there's no word really about. Anything aside, it's coming out on July 17th, uh, 2020. So, yeah, that's really it. Uh, just some speculated uh, films and genres. Some might have thought, you know, uh, Howard Hughes, uh, because there was a Howard Hughes script he wrote, which he said is the best thing he's ever written in his career put that on hold because um, uh, the aviator was being made with a uh, Mark Scorsese oh. and uh, yeah he, he didn't want to compete or make a film uh, about Howard Hughes like a year or two 
after the aviator. So, you know, he gave that, he put that to the side and gave it up for the time being. Uh, I don't know if he's ever given it up for, uh, to the point of it will never happen. Um, it's just his interest shifted other elsewhere. You know, he made Batman Begins, and Prestige, Dark Knight, Dark, uh, Inception, Dark Knight Rises, and then Interstellar, and then recently Dunkirk. Though Dunkirk was a passion project of his, he's wanted to make for a long time. Um, so, you know. There is that. Um, apologize for, apologies for the yawning. Um, but yeah, just wanted to let you all know. Uh, you know, I'm a Christopher Nolan fan. Uh, all these seeing this, whatever it is. And, uh, yeah, any more information, I will definitely make a video about it. That way, uh, yeah, we'll all be in the loop. So, uh, yeah, I hope you all um, have a good day, have a good weekend, and a good week, and I'll see you next time.